All right, so we're going to be talking about assessments. I'm going to show you some of my favorite question types. I'm going to show you what happens when you leave feedback on questions. Um, and I'm going to show you student um, perspective um, as well as um, teacher perspective. So uh, here's my practice course. So that you can see this is me as a teacher, Mrs. Jenkins. Here's me as a student, Melissa Jenkins, um, a, as a member of the class. So here is the assessment. What I want to show you first, because I took this a little earlier, when I look at this bell notification, it says a new grade was posted. So if you're wondering if students get a notification that um, something was graded, uh, yes, they do. Okay, there you can see it, a new grade was posted. All right, but I'm going to go in um, and just take this again. For most of my like homework or quiz or practice, I allow three attempts. Okay, but I'm just going to start um, a new attempt and just to kind of talk you through some of the features that I really like. So first here, this is the um, add text feature, and I'll show you when I look at the teacher perspective. Um, this allows you to either give some specific directions. Um, you could link to a text you want them to look at. Um, I like to put a video, so this is a clickable link. Um, they can click. Um, this is a video, which I'm not going to show. This is um, about taking assessments. But what I usually put here is um, a link to a video that I've made uh, helping them through some of the content. Okay. And the reason I like it is because they can click around to whatever question and very easily click back here. Whereas if I put the video on the start page, like before it says start new attempt, they can't easily access it while taking the assessment. So if you want them to access it while taking the assessment, you're going to have it as the add text option. And I always put it as the first question. Okay, so let's progress through this and just show you some of the questions I like. Um, this is a drop down menu. And uh, so students are just going to click on this and then choose the one they want. I'm going to intentionally choose some wrong answers because I want to show you some feedback um, information. Okay. So um, again, um, I'm going to uh, just choose some wrong answers. This is a multiple choice question, but I've chosen the um, multiple um, selections so that they can choose more than one. Um, this is a um, highlight hotspot question. So click the location of the femoral vein. So you can see, you can kind of see these spots. If students um, hover over, they'll be able to see exactly where those locations are. And they're going to click on one. All right. Next question. Uh, this is just a true, um, a true false question. This one is a drag and drop. So it's like fill in the blank, right? But here it's like giving them a word bank and I'm going to um, put what I think for um, each of these, okay? And then here, um, oh, probably one of my favorites is a label image. So whatever image you have, they're gonna have these response boxes and students are gonna move these up um, wherever they um, think the correct answer is. Note for this one, I put one term will not be used, okay? So I'm just going to label, again, I'm intentionally um, choosing some wrong answers, at least, um, because uh, I want to show you about feedback. All right, so here we go. Uh, and then I'm at the end. Okay, so review. Okay, I can go back and click on any questions. Here I can check this, unattempted. There's nothing, just that was had no question on it. Okay, so that's a way to check if you did actually answer all the questions. So if you're like, oh, I forgot which question I skipped, just check this. Okay, um, and then finish, and I'll say all the questions have been attempted. It reminds me, are you sure you want to submit? Yes, I want to submit. Okay, so it's submitting. All right, so here we go. Your activity has been submitted. So now let's go to the teacher end. So here we go, practice assessment. Okay, and you could see there are two attempts. All right, I'm going to look at grading by question. All right, so right here, which of the following are parts of um, the brainstem? Okay, so I'm going to add some feedback. Okay, so um, but you could add a whole lot of um, feedback. You can even add um, an image. Um, so let's see. I'm going to pause it and find the image I want to I want to put on here. Okay, so I've typed some text, but I want to add an image. So I'm going to click here. Okay, and I'm going to go um, into my pictures 
into anatomy and in nervous system. And here I have this image ready. So I want to attach this image, okay, um, to help. All right, uh, upload this. All right, so there you go. All right, so here's the picture. All right, I'm just going to um, hit enter after this so it's underneath. Um, say you, oops, use this image for, I could direct them to a video, whatever I want. So click save. So there's feedback for that question. Let's go to the next question. Um, okay, so this said femoral vein. So I'm going to say, remember in illustrations, arteries are shaded red and veins are shaded blue. Okay, so add feedback here. Uh, then next. All right, so lots here. Um, I'm probably going to want to include um, an, uh, an image uh, to kind of help through. But I want to go back and look at it from the student perspective so you can see how the feedback is going to show up for them. Okay. So now I'm back in the student one, but you can see I have two attempts. So I'm going to look here, view here. All right. And um, I know, look, do you see this? There's a comment. Remember, the brainstem sits on top of the spinal cord. Use this image for help. Okay, so students can see the image. You can see this question I hadn't left a comment yet on. Um, I can see a question here. Oh, remember in illustrations, arteries are shaded red and veins are shaded blue. Okay, so those are the ones that I made comments on. Okay, what you can see is um, it'll tell me how much I got right, how much I got wrong. So this said I got half right. I didn't get anything um, right here because you have to select all the correct answers. So you're going to get points off for incorrect um, as well as like ones you chose wrong. Okay, so everything. If this is right and I didn't take it, that's a point off. If this is wrong but I picked it, that's also a point off. So it's a little complicated when you have multiple selections. Here you can see I simply got that one wrong. This one I got right. This one I got right. This one I got a little bit right. OK, it doesn't tell me exactly um, what I got right or wrong, though. OK, so um, that is how the feedback shows to students. OK, now what I'm going to do is leave this open. And what I'm going to do is open this. Second, let me do it that way. So let's just open it. Um, open another tab as a student. And I'm going to go back in and I say I'm literally I'm not happy with this grade. OK, I don't like a 48.81. I already have my. Um, oh, this one I can close. I already have the assessment. Here's the last attempt I made. OK, so what I'm going to do is start an attempt. This is my last attempt. And this is really what I suggest um, students do. OK, is look at the question. A okay, thick skin has four layers in the epidermis. Let's go back and see. Uh, oh, I put false and that was correct. So I'm going to put false again and go to the next question. Which are the parts of the brain stem? Okay, well, this one I got a lot wrong, but look, um, I had this suggestion from my teacher, so let's look. Uh, brain stem. Midbrain, pons, medulla oblongata, um, those are um, in uh, the brainstem. So we have yes, this no, this no, yes. Okay, so I'm going to choose that. Uh, let's go back to this question. The hum oh, so I got. I got half of it right, half of it wrong. All right, so let's Google it, right? Before I try and just pick a random answer. If I didn't know it, I didn't know it. So human brain lobes hemisphere. All right, so let's see. Um, the hemisphere, ha each hemisphere has four lobes. Okay, so I know that that one was right then, right? And the first one I picked four lobes. 
So I know it's four. And hemispheres, I picked five, but since I only got half this question right, I know this one has to be wrong. So it's not going to be five, all right? So, um, oh, the cerebral cortex is divided lengthwise into two cerebral hemispheres. Two hemispheres. There we go. All right, so labeling the parts of the skull. When I look back at this one, again, I got a lot wrong, uh, more than half, okay? So I'm going to have to look this one up. All right, so those are my suggestions for um, completing it, especially when you have multiple attempts. Like, stop guessing, okay? Use the information that's given to you, all right? And I'm going to make a student-centered version about taking an assessment as well as using your score in a previous assessment to help you do better.